remove spaces in column names in all tables inside of Power Query. Now, last video, 1623, we had a lot of fun in the comments. And Bill Sizzes posted a great formula to automate removing spaces in field names. <laughs> Now, a couple of the commenters said they get data where the person that sent the data centered the field name with spaces before and after. Our data happens to be on different sheets in different Excel tables, but this data could be coming from text files or other sources. We're going to bring our tables in by clicking in a single cell, data, get and transform from table. We're going to rename this. We want all the tables, not just the single table. So I'm going to remove change type, come up to the formula bar, remove the lookup to look up the particular table, delete and enter. Excel.current workbook is polite. It brings in all the tables in this Excel workbook. Just as we saw last video, when we do this and we're going to load it to the Excel sheet, we need to take the query name, copy it, and filter that query name out does not equal control V. This prevents the table that's loaded to the Excel worksheet from being imported later. Now, if we look at each table, there's the field names. We're going to add an extra column to transform these tables into field names that don't have any spaces. Add column, custom column, field names trimmed. And we'll use the function table.transform column names. And there it is. Open parentheses. It needs the table. I'm going to double click content. That's this column. So as this custom column is copied down for each row, it will pick out the table, comma. And then we need a function, text.trim. There it is. Just that function will work in the second argument of table.transform column names. Close parentheses. Now, when I click OK, we can see there it is. It totally transformed the column names. If we go up and look at the formula bar, table.addColumns acted on the previous step. That's the new name of the column for each row in this table right here. There's our formula. Right click, remove other columns, expand, uncheck use original, OK, date data type. Decimal data type, text. There's our new name. There's our steps. Home, close and load, close and load to. Existing, consolidate, B2, click OK. And there's our appended table with all the field names and no spaces. Now this one extra row right here, that's a phantom ghost because we used Excel.CurrentWorkbook. But if I right click Refresh, it goes away because we were smart. We took the query name and filtered that table out. All right, it's fun hanging out on our online Excel team. Thanks to all the people that commented. Thanks to Bill Sizzes. And if you want to learn more about Excel.Current Workbook, you can check out this video. And if you want a full introduction to Power Query, check out this playlist of Power Query videos.